traveling minister had just closed a revival and stepped on a homebound train and found himself seated next to a young man. Well, with nothing better to do, he decided to strike up a conversation. You know, just something about the weather, basically just something to pass the time. And when he found that he got no reply and noticed the tears streaming down his cheek, he told him, son, I'm a minister, I'm a preacher. I'd be glad to help you in any way I can. The young man through the tears proceeded to tell this story. He said, preacher, about two years ago, I got so mean and hard that my mom and dad couldn't do anything with me. I wasn't anything but a source of embarrassment for them. And you know, preacher, it got so bad that one day I even hit my daddy with my fist. And he said, son, I hate to do it. It's gonna break your mama's heart. But I'm gonna have to ask you to leave this house. Just get out of my sight. I don't even want to see you anymore. Well, you know, preacher, I guess I wandered all over this country for about the past two years. Then about three weeks ago, I gave my heart and my life to Jesus. Told my mom and dad that I'd like to come home and told them what had happened. You know, I told them that I'd be on this old train told them I was coming home. The preacher looked and said, Son, that's all well and good, but how do you know they're gonna accept you? How do you know that you're welcome to come home? How can you be sure that all is forgiven? And he said, Preacher, I just asked my dad in a letter that if everything was all right and I could come home, just tie a little rag in the top of the apple tree. I could see it from the train and I'd know everything would be all right. But preacher, we're almost there and I can't bear to look. Would you please just tell me if anything at all is tied in the top of the apple tree? Well, the preacher looked and said, son, I'm sorry, I don't see just one rag tied up there like you said. And as the young man began to shake, he said, son, there isn't one. There must be a hundred if there's one. And a smiling old couple waving a bed sheet that says, son, come on home. And as a young man broke down in tears and sobs, he said, preacher is just like our God. And today I know he can do anything.